I'm Albert DeCastro. I'm Leanne DeCastro. We've been married for four years. And I'm uh, going to share with you all some of the ways that God has helped us to uh, show serving love in our marriage so that we can divorce proof our marriage and uh, serve each other and serve God in the process. We had three kids in the first four years of our marriage, and it um, sobered us up really fast <laughs> um, from our honeymoon. And then, um, mm -hmm. so I guess from my perspective, um, it was easy just to get lost in mom mode. I was just mom, mom, mom all the time. And I lost my, I, I guess I forgot that I was also a wife, you know? And so um, he would come home and I'm like, I'm busy. I can't, I don't have time for you. And um, one day I was very stressed out and he's reading a Dr. Seuss book to the girls. Um, it's called Flap Your Wings. <laughs> and God spoke to me through Dr. Seuss. <laughs> um, it's about, just real quick, it's about... Um, uh, Mr. Bird wanted to uh, take care of this alligator egg and the mom knew that was not her egg in any way but she didn't undermine him she didn't go against what he said she didn't um, try to nag on him and I thought and she just went along with it and said okay let's take care of this baby and um, I thought man what a good wife what a good wife so God spoke to me and said you know you, when he gets home, especially, hand the reins over. Just because we parent different in different ways, we have different styles, doesn't mean that he's any less of a parent than I am. And I repented, and I said, God, okay, I'm going to try this. And it's hard. It takes a conscious effort to, to let him be dad in the home. And um, and my husband, <laughs> mm -hmm. and um, I found that um, a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders, and that when I do that, and the kids behave way better when dad parents them, and um, <laughs> and um, another aspect of doing that. Um, happens like he becomes the hero of the home you know my kids now which they didn't before when he comes home from work they are you might as well be telling them they they're going to Disneyland because they're screaming and daddy's home daddy's home and so yeah there's it helped our marriage um so much when I just hand the reins over to him and Oh, another thing is he becomes more attractive. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. uh, this one's for free. Young men, marry a godly woman that's going to raise your kids to know and love Jesus, a godly woman that can hear from God. And so when you're gone at work, she's not on social media taking selfies. She's teaching the kids about Jesus, letting God deal with her. And so I'm grateful that I married a good woman of a high pedigree in our fellowship of a pastor's daughter, and uh, it's been an incredible resource in our marriage. She's been a wonderful wife and mother. Um, one thing that has helped our marriage is, uh, unlike your your postmodern secular marriages that we've embraced our gender roles, I work outside in the hot sun, she stays home and takes care of our kids. Um, as men, sometimes we can hide behind that. So when I would come home for work and I'm tired, I want to turn into a sack of beans on the couch. And uh, I had worked hard that day, and I, re I remember God dealing with me because for a while she was the only one who would give our kids a bath. And uh, God dealt with me. Like, you get to come home and clock out, but she never gets to clock out. And so uh, you need to get your butt off the couch and help her. Uh, I do the... I do most of the cooking at home because I enjoy to cook, but also it's good to, uh, it's helped our marriage a lot, especially when we had the first two, and I could tell she was feeling overworked and, and overwhelmed, and whenever she had her roles, I would just kind of step back and uh, 
and I was I was running her ragged. She was tired, and uh, and God dealt with me to to step up more. Man, you're not going to suddenly start producing estrogen if you change a diaper or give the kids a bath or start cooking dinner. You are on the clock always because you made a vow to this woman and you made a vow to God that you were going to be a, a loving husband. And if you have kids, you need to be a good father and you need to understand that you're not going to clock out until they're 18 and leave the house, you know. And that's a way that God has helped us uh, serve each other in love and divorce-proof our marriage and help us get uh, uh, endurance as we continue our journey. We live in such a man-hating culture. Maybe God wants us as women of God to counteract that and just be nice to our husbands, no matter what. Even if you have the best excuse in your head to use him as a punching bag, just be nice to him. And it changes your whole household. Your kids will behave so much better. So. <laughs> yeah. Ha, ha, ha.